Olivardier is often considered a cousin of the Negroni, and this simple cocktail is one of my favorites. To make this, you will need a whiskey. I prefer a rye because it's a bit more spicy and robust than a bourbon. And just like a Negroni, this cocktail has some bitter and sweet notes from a Campari. The final ingredient is a sweet vermouth. I prefer the Carpano Antica formula vermouth. Its full-bodied flavor profile stands up really well against whiskey. This is a stirred cocktail, so you'll need a mixing glass, and I'm gonna serve it straight up in a rocks glass. My preferred recipe for the Boulevardier starts with one ounce of your Campari, followed by one ounce of your sweet vermouth, and finally, an ounce and a half of your rye. The Boulevardier, created by a man named Harry McElhone, came into existence in 1927 at Harry's Bar in Paris. As many American bartenders did during Prohibition, Harry left America and went over to Europe. His experience presented him with a wide new range of aperitifs such as the Italian Campari, and he combined that with American bourbon to make the Boulevardier. In fact, his original recipe called for bourbon instead of rye and equal parts of whiskey, vermouth, and Campari. This cocktail was a favorite of a socialite and writer of a magazine called The Boulevardier. After stirring this cocktail for about 45 seconds, providing the necessary cooling and dilution of the drink, strain it into a rocks glass, either straight up like this, or on the rocks if you prefer. As with most stirred cocktails, I recommend chilling the glass ahead of time by adding some ice water while you're preparing the drink. For presentation, I like to flame an orange peel over the top of the cocktail. If you want to learn more about how this works, you can watch my video on flaming a citrus peel. And that's how you make the Boulevardier, a simple and delicious stirred cocktail that's one of my favorites. Cheers! To get this full recipe, links to the equipment I used, and early access to videos, visit CocktailChemistryLab.com.